Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. This video, I'm going to try and explain relative major and minor keys. In a nutshell, a relative major or minor key is the key that has the same key signature as its relative major or minor. You may be saying, what on earth are you talking about? Well, let's try and break that down a little bit. So let's pick a key for an example. Let's pick D major. So if I play a D major scale, there we go, one octave D major scale, the notes that I'm playing in that scale are D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Out of those notes, we have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So the key signature for D major is F sharp and C sharp. Simple as that. Let's pick another key as an example, shall we? Let's pick, um, let's pick F major. Okay, I'll play an F major scale. The notes I'm playing there are F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. So the key signature for F major is one flat, which is B flat. So there we are, every key has a key signature and all that means is which sharps or flats are in that key. Now, we've been looking at major scales. Each one of those has a relative minor key. And the relative simply is the minor key that has the same sharps and flats in it as the major key. And there's a one-to-one -one relationship here that each major scale has just one relative minor, each minor scale just has one relative major. Now I know from memory um, that the relative minor scale or key of D major is B minor. If I play a B minor, B natural minor scale, The notes I'm playing there are B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Now you'll notice those notes are exactly the same notes as I'm playing in the D major scale, just in a different order. So D major, we had D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. B minor, we have B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. And indeed, if you played a, a D major scale pattern, but instead of starting on the D, you start on the B, you have the B minor scale there. So that is it. There is uh, the relative minor is quite simply the minor key that has the same sharps and flats in it as the major key you're trying to find the relative of. Now, you may be saying, that's all very well, but do I really have to memorise every single relative minor for each relative major and vice versa? Well, no, you don't, because there's a very easy way to work out which is the relative minor of a particular major key. For example, the one we've just done, we've got D major. If you take the, uh, the starting note of a D major scale, which is D, obviously. And if you just do this, if you go one, two, three, if you go three frets down, you immediately have the relative minor key. So we know that D major, its relative minor is one, two, three, B minor. And we can try that with some others just to test it out. So let's say E there, so an E major scale. If we want to find its relative minor, we've got to go three frets down. So one, two, three, which is C sharp. C sharp minor. So the relative minor key of E major is C sharp minor. So they have a very easy way to work out what is the relative minor of a particular major key. And of course, if you have the minor key, and you want to work out its relative major, you just go in the other direction. So let's say 
Um, we have, we've already done this one, but I'll show you it from the other direction point of view. We've got B minor. I want to work out its relative major. We just go up three frets. One, two, three. There you go. Simple as that. If we say A minor, to work out its relative major, we're just going to go up three frets. One, two, three. And there we go. Another way of thinking about this is if you want to go from major to relative minor, the sixth note of that scale will give you the relative minor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which is a B. So we're playing that B there and we've already discussed B minor is the relative minor of D major. Going the other way, if you want to go to the relative major from a minor key, it's the third note. So if we play a B natural minor scale, one, two, three, we know, we know already because we, we've been through this, that D major, I'm playing a D there, is the relative major of B minor. I hope this video has been of some help. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. Please feel free to like and share this video. I hope it's been of some use to you and I will see you next time. Cheers.